So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and we have the DLC 1 trailer for Infinite Warfare Zombies where we get a look at our brand new zombies map which is called Rave in the Redwoods. This is very interesting as it is a stark difference to what we have with Zombies in Spaceland. This looks like a much more gritty and serious map which takes place in an abandoned woods. We'll look into the trailer and I'll be back straight afterwards to break down zombies but if you guys are hyped and excited, smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comment section right now, and I'll be back in a moment. We are so excited for fans to get their hands on the first DLC of the season. We've been listening to your feedback, and we have so much more to come. We've got four intense maps and a brand new zombie experience. One of the great things about DLC is it gives us the first opportunity to address what the players are looking for and what things can be improved upon in the Infinite Warfare experience. We get a lot of feedback across social media, forums, everywhere. It's been really cool to see everything from beta up till now, the requests. So you're gonna see drastic changes and things you love brought into these new maps. Noir is a dark, grimy, moody Brooklyn from the distant future. On one side, you spawn under the Brooklyn Bridge, which is kind of gritty. And then the exact opposite side of the map, it's a little bit nicer. There's cafes and parks. And then in the middle, it's just a war zone. Neon is a virtual training simulator for urban warfare. It's a Z-shaped map with a long sight line down the middle, a high B point up on a ledge, and a close quarters area in a nightclub in the third lane. When you run around, cars will generate players. When they die, they will dissolve into a mess of polygons. It's a very interesting and fun play space to be in. One of the maps in DLC 1 that we are pretty excited about is called Renaissance. It takes place in Venice. It's a very tight quarters, very fast gameplay. If you like to snipe, you're going to love the church lane. If you like to run and gun with your shotgun or your SMG, you're going to love skating through the interiors and engaging players. And if you're a mobile mid-ranger, you're gonna love taking your assault rifle onto the streets. Another map we have is called Dominion, and it's a Modern Warfare 2 remake of the classic map Afghan. This time it takes place on Mars. Afghan is such a revered map, not just amongst the fans, but also among everybody at Infinity Ward. It has a lot of different identifiable landmarks that everybody can remember, the crash ship, the AA guns on the hill. And we knew it was kind of an easy transition over to Infinite Warfare's Theater of War. And players can now boost jump up to the lookout and counter snipers with close range engagements. The Raven the Redwoods is a trip back to the 1990s to a place that is such a stark contrast from what we did in Zombies in Spaceland. I think players are in for a real surprise. We made them really comfortable in Spaceland by opening up lanes, making it bright and colorful. This is really a horror film brought to life in a video game form. It's going to blow people's minds. After getting sucked out of, of Zombies in Spaceland, uh, our four characters appear in a cabin they wake up kind of groggy. They kind of realize that they're maybe in the 90s now. As you explore outside of the cabin, you find out that you're actually in an abandoned camp that's been kind of taken over by a few hundred raver kids that are throwing a, an all-night rave party uh, in the middle of the woods. The level has this dark, foreboding, kind of spooky vibe, and then the world comes alive. There's new weaponry, there's new fate and fortune cards coming, new traps within the map. Our cast of characters are getting a whole new wardrobe change. We're gonna introduce a new character named the Slasher. There's so much more to tell. We can't wait for people to get a chance to experience what it's like to be in Raven the Redwoods. People are in for a real treat. All of the devs here at Infinity Ward cannot wait for our fans to get their hands on the new content. The weapons, the quests, there's so much going into it. Fans are going to be super excited. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare DLC 1 pack will be available January 31st, first on PS4. Now, how awesome does this look as a zombies map? I'm really, really surprised that they went from the goofy and neon, just really crazy goofiness of Zombies in Spaceland, and they're taking us to a horror film zombies map, which is something which I've always wanted, and hopefully this captures the sort of scariness and eeriness that we've always really wanted from zombies that we've not seen in a very long time. This looks like the perfect zombie setting, in my opinion. It's also very clear that they got the inspiration 
inspiration from this from the Cabin in the Woods horror film, which is pretty darn awesome. And that plot follows a group of college students who retreat to a remote forest cabin where they fall victim to backward zombies. Now, it's a little bit different in this, as as Brian explains, the story is that this cabin uh, that they wake up in is surrounded in a woods which has been overtaken by hundreds of raver kids, and they've turned the whole sort of woods area into a rave area, which is not necessarily what you'd expect from a scary horror movie and I guess that is where the goofiness ties in. They've promised new weapons and so far we've only seen a bunch of melee weapons. Now we know we get the axe out of the magic wheel but we saw a lot of new melee weapons in this little trailer here. We saw a plank of wood, we saw a golf club, we even saw a baseball bat with nails in it which reminds me a lot of a like amateur version of Negan's bat from The Walking Dead. And of course we have the signature axe which we had in Zombies in Spaceland but it looks like it's got a slight different makeover this time around which is awesome but the whole theming of this map is for the most part really dark creepy and eerie which I am really looking forward to playing. Now in terms of story this has got our exact same characters from Zombies in Spaceland you can see in the slight little gameplay of someone spawning in you do indeed spawn in the cabin as a starting room and the player cards are identical to what we saw in Zombies in Spaceland so we can't really see character models exactly of what outfits but you can get a judge for it in some of these clips where you do see them holding the melee weapons that they're wearing like long sleeve shirts. The part that I'm not exactly sold on with this map so far is that little bit where they mention the rave music like all of the map just suddenly lit up crazy neon and I don't understand why they put that in multiplayer mode as well because you could see the multiplayer mode HUD and uh, they activate that little thing then suddenly lights come on everywhere. I don't quite understand what that is but perhaps the map starts out quite dark and eerie at first and like zombies in space like you need to power on different areas of the map and that will light it up and make things a little bit brighter. And what's interesting is this trailer says so much but also says so little at the same time and it's up to us to work out all the little features that they're not telling us verbally and he mentions towards the end there that they're introducing a new character called the slasher and this is obviously a reference to slasher films as they're a subgenre of horror films which typically involves a violent psychopath stalking and murdering people usually with bladed tools. We're seeing a ton of these melee weapons that our characters are using and we see this human silhouette walking towards the player and it's down to interpretation if you believe that this to be a zombie boss or a human character which we're going to be interacting with a bit like we have David Hasselhoff within Zombies in Spaceland. Now as this character is walking towards the camera you can see this weird thing that's floating following behind him almost like a sort of stench or like a swarm of flies or something that's walking and following his every path. Now in my opinion this very well is a new zombie boss but it does seem a little bit weird if we had a zombie that walked towards you and had a sort of weapon that would slash and kill you it's obviously a small reference to like some of the old classics like Freddy Krueger and Michael Myers. As Lee Ross is slowly growing this cryptic thing about him he says that there's so much to tell within Rave in the Redwoods which is really exciting hopefully they actually have a lot more story to tell now of our characters and we do see glimpses of the quickies machine so all the perk machines are staying exactly as they were the sort of 80s theme of them is probably going to stay in that case there was no mention of new perks per se but he has hinted in the past that we will be seeing brand new candy perks overall he did say there's also going to be new weapons not just these melee weapons which is awesome and also the way that it seems it's showing a few different characters walking around with these melee weapons perhaps these could be in this instead of them having their own melee attacks which were you know when you meleeed in zombies in spaceland each character had a specific uh thing in their hand which related to their character and the sort of stereotype of the 80s this is what they always possess now when you spawn in and this is a weapon that you always have on you which is a melee weapon that could be the case but then how would you balance that because these seem to be weapons which you would have and would be one hit kills to a certain round but obviously if it was your standard melee attack then obviously this wouldn't be very strong past say round two or three for example it's funny because just like last year we got our first dlc preview exactly this time last year and that 
didn't really reveal too much and I feel they're going to be definitely dropping some more trailers near the release of this DLC where they're going to be telling us even more things and this is just a very very small glimpse of what's to come but let me know down below in the comment section are you guys hyped for Rave in the Redwoods? I surely am because this is bringing zombies back to that creepy factor that we've always wanted the sort of scary factor and Zetsubo is supposed to be the scariest map in Black Ops 3 and it definitely wasn't and this is definitely hitting at the spot and ticking all the boxes for a really good zombies map I just hope that Infinity Ward actually get around to executing this idea very very well but as we learn more details of course on Rave in the Redwoods I'll be sure to update you guys so be sure to click that subscribe button down below make sure to click that bell as well to not miss out on any future uploads but until next time I'll catch you soon